let's go check out the construction updates. And there's a PVC tower and it's all uncovered over here. Most part, man. Hey, this we're gonna go downtown Disney and we're gonna see some new construction updates, stuff that's been finished, and stuff that is new. We're asking to check it out. All right, I'm actually gonna use the parking structure. I haven't been in here in a while for the parking structure. I need to park in Harbor and take the bus in. Almost ready to get scanned in. Let's go check out all the updates. I'm gonna hit up the hotel first because I haven't been over there in a while either. We'll go check that out too. Right, I'm going to my favorite way from the parking structures go over this pedestrian overcrossing and we're gonna head over to the Disneyland Hotel. It's where all the canine vehicles park over here by the hotel. And I can see they finally got this one section over here where the they store the guests their luggage and stuff before they send it up. There used to be a white tent out there the last time I was here, but it's been a while. That was the last section to be painted. All right, so this whole area right here used to be chain link fence and some bushes and stuff to cover up what was back behind it. Now is 100% solid wall. So looks like they got some shiny new Disneyland Hotel uh, mats before you go inside. And they got the 100th right here where the people are getting their picture taken right on where that says 100th. And let's see what we got over here. You got this awesome vintage, looks like 20s display as you walk in the door. I don't know if I should start collecting these or what, the 100 Years of Wonder uh, collectible medallions. I'm sure there's a bunch of different ones throughout the resort. But this is what they have over here at the Disneyland Hotel. Alright, these are actually brand spanking new. They came out with brand new orange ones. They didn't actually have ones that were on legs like that. And they changed all over here too. Wonder what they do with the orange one. Looks like they finally changed the Hey Man with J Man barricades. They brought it more out towards me. And actually, the DVC is uncovered way over to the left. We'll go check it out. Looks like the left half of the DVC tower has been uncovered to show you what's going on. And this whole section over here, you have to go around the other way. So we're gonna go this way. Let's get another shot of the DVC tower that is uncovered over here. It's over here by the waterfall. Yeah, they're getting this thing taken care of over here. In the front, we saw it driving down the back side, so the back side on the other side is uh, Walnut Street. So, looks like they're getting a lot of this exterior taken care of. All right, now I know what they did with the orange tables and chairs. They're right out here in this big open area where they usually have weddings and stuff going on. Matter of fact, what does it say right here? It's actually a reception going on inside the hotel. So let's go head over to Pixar Place Hotel because I have not been in there in a while. Let's go see what's going on over there. Here's the new uh, AC unit that's finally 100% open and uncovered. Must be raising the wall like right in through here with all these little metal uprights right here. That's all new. Probably gonna put some kind of gate or fence up there. Right, there's a relic of the past right there. Paradise Pier Hotel. Which is now Pixar Place Hotel. And it's looking the same down here. It's all blocked off straight ahead. And here's where you actually go in and register. And then the Pacific Ballroom. Merch search. Let's right, so actually go upstairs. And peek out floor number four towards the pool area. Alright, sometime in the future this will be wide open to get into the new area and to register. But now is right where we saw it earlier. Right, let's go peek out and see what the pool area looks like. Because I remember they were doing some other construction, and they still are. Yeah, we need to get up higher. Yeah, let's go up. All right, I actually went up to the ninth floor so we could peek out and check this pool area out. 
Oh wow, they're tiling it. That wasn't like that the last time I was here. And it looks like they got a new pool or something going on over there. It's all covered up. And we'll go take a peek at the sandbar. All right, that used to be the sandbar right there, which looks like it's been gutted. And the canopy on the top's been taken off. Looks like they're putting a higher wall up, like I seen on the other side by the pool. And they took down the awning. That was where all this construction stuff was right here. Looks like all new that they put in for the main entrance where you drive up. And I don't think they have valet here, but you drop your bags off and go park in the parking structure. And that platform right there, below that is where it's going to be the new uh, the desk where you go and uh, check in down there. All right, just got off the elevator. I'm here at the ground floor, and here's some uh, concept art coming soon of what the lobby's going to look like. And the paint job's getting pretty much taken care of on the outside, and then that's actually the spot that was covered up to the left when we saw what was going on upstairs. All right, this is what the little extra wall is going to be that's going to be going across up here. And the parking structure over here has been painted the black and white. I'm not sure exactly what's going on right there. It might be something to deal with the construction that's actually up there to get, you know, construction stuff from point A to point B, but not sure exactly what that is. All right, I think that's pretty much the last little section that needs to be painted black and white. There's a little touch-up that I can see to the right beyond the trees, but this section in the back still needs to be painted to the new color scheme. All right, that medallion was there. Huge Mickey wasn't. And let's see what's over here for the, looks like something to do with National Geographic, so let's go check it out. And I don't think the Wonderground Gallery is over here anymore. I think they finally opened it, so let's go take a peek at this display right here. And you got a photo op. And you can actually stand there and get your picture taken in between the little Nat Geo looking squared off yellow device. And I don't think this is one of the ground galleries anymore. Let's see. Nope. Oh. Alright, so we're going to go check that out once we get over to the other side. Right, there's the 100th anniversary of the company. Monorail coming in all slow. Iridescent. And it looks like they took away the fencing over here that was over in front of Star Wars Trading Post. Let's see what's different on the concrete is. Let's see what else we got. Oh, looks like they took out a bunch of there's a concrete curve thing right about in this section here. So it's all wide, nice and wide open right here now. Pretty red. Used to be a choke point about right in through here, but it's all widened up. Right, looks like they got the new Jazz Kitchen sign up, which I don't like. That's just a generic flat piece of nothing up there. You know it? I like the old one that was up here. Yeah, I don't like that sign, but it is what it is, and I don't like the remodel of the actual Jazz Kitchen itself, but it is not my building to be complaining about. The top section is done, the bottom is still under construction. And they're working on the beignet building, but you can still get beignets over here. So let's go check it out. Exit only. Yep. Temporary beignet section. And look, underground galleries and the home stores back. Looks like they put new windows up here that might open. It's probably even part of a restaurant, I would assume. But it looks like they gutted some of this over here. But maybe they gutted the top and uh, made it for a restaurant that's actually closed over here. So this all looks the same, man. Yeah, no, that looks all looks the same. Let's check out the home store real quick. Because, yeah, they had this all gutted. But, it's all back the way it was. So the Uva Bar and the Catal, is that what we call it? Is closed off. 
Father. Anybody know what's actually gonna be? I forget. It's gonna be a Mexican place. Is that what I thought I heard? So there's got to be a choke point over here if this whole uva bar area is actually closed down. So let's go take a peek. All right, you know how busy this area gets. So this is actually going to be a choke point. And it looks like the wall is up, but yet it doesn't look like it's going to be the... It's another coat of paint. And I bet you they put some signs up that we're going to show something. Oh, right here, here's something. All right, this is what it's going to be right here. Coming soon, man. This is what it's actually going to be right here. Where the Catal and the Uva Bar restaurant. Get this on camera now because eventually, real soon, that will be all taken down. We'll never see it again. All right, here we go. So what's going to happen to Tortilla Joe's? Tortilla Joe's gonna be something else. Yeah, you got all this on camera now. All right, let's go up towards World of Disney and head over towards, let's see, Earl of Sandwiches and see what the Esplanade looks like. See if there's any new updates going on over that way. Let's go check it out. Right, here's the Earl of Sandwiches Tavern and Bar. That is open. Got the menu right here on the wall. So they got the tavern on this side. You can actually come in here and eat pizza right here. That's just pizza here. And the next one over is the uh, sandwiches and a few other odds and ends like chips and cookies and probably potato salad like they did the last time. But So you got Earl of Sandwiches. You got the pizza place, and then next to that you got the tavern. All right, I've been having a rough time trying to get uh, reservations to get into Disneyland, so look at all these people. I don't know if they're buying passes, buying day passes, or what, but when I get up on the Disneyland app, yeah, I can't actually get a reservation. Spend 1600 bucks, can't get in. Let's head on back, see if there's anything else I missed. That's the updates right here in uh, downtown Disney and the hotels. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like that video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. All right, man, till the next video. That's right, I did park in the parking structure so I could be taking the trams back. But now I'm going to put my steps in. I'm going to be going all the way back down through downtown Disney. Bonus footage. Look at those lonely tables and chairs over here in the Catal. In the choke point. All right, this camera doesn't have a zoom, but right there, there's a table with a bunch of plans sitting on top of it only they know what's going to be put up there well we already know what's going to be put up there but honestly i think that's going to be part of the restaurant i think that's more seating i would assume for the mexican restaurant that's going to be right over here that's just my thoughts no 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 man do not like that sign Right, here's all that new concrete on the way out. We're we'll walking over to the parking structure, and the choke point is no longer. Please utilize the sidewalk. I am. Time to walk myself to the parking structure and go get me some grub. A lot of people cruising around over there.